Welcome to the golden age of Hollywood, where the dust of the Wild West settles on the silver screen. Have you ever found yourself drawn into the world of 1,939 seconds cinematic masterpiece? Stage a coach. Perhaps you harbor a cherished memory associated with the film, or maybe you're intrigued by lesser known facts and anecdotes that add depth to its legacy. As we delve into the heart of this classic, consider the impact it had on audiences of its time and how it continues to resonate today. The journey aboard the titular stagecoach becomes a microcosm of human drama, where disparate characters share a confined space, bringing to life the tension, camaraderie, and unexpected connections that unfold against the backdrop of an unforgiving frontier. But let's turn our attention to the intriguing details that might have escaped your notice. Did you know that stagecoach marked a pivotal moment in the career of director John Ford? The film not only revitalized the Western genre, but also elevated the stature of a young actor named John Wayne, propelling him towards cinematic legend. Now, as we reflect on the impact of this cinematic gem, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Stage a Coach. What scenes left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? How did this Western classic become a part of your own narrative? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, saddle up and join the conversation as we explore the enduring allure of Stage a Coach and the timeless stories it continues to inspire. Engage with fellow enthusiasts and share your perspectives on this iconic piece of cinematic history. Stage a Coach, a classic Western film directed by John Ford in 1939, is an iconic cinematic masterpiece that transcends its genre. The story unfolds as a diverse group of strangers embarks on a perilous journey through Apache territory, their lives intertwined by fate and circumstance. The ensemble cast features memorable characters, including the morally conflicted Ringo Kid and the enigmatic Doc Boone, portrayed by John Wayne and Thomas Mitchell, respectively. Ford's directorial finesse is evident in the film's innovative use of Monument Valley as a backdrop, establishing a visual style that would influence the Western genre for decades. The film's impact on popular culture is profound, setting a standard for the portrayal of the American frontier and leaving an indelible mark on subsequent Westerns. Stage a coach not only revitalized John Wayne's career, but also elevated the Western genre to new heights, showcasing its narrative potential beyond mere action sequences. The movie's success paved the way for Ford's continued exploration of Western themes and cemented its place in film history as a quintessential example of storytelling and cinematography. Stage a coach legacy endures as a cinematic trailblazer that transcends its era, leaving an enduring impact on the art of filmmaking. The 1939 film directed by John Ford marked a significant milestone in cinematic history. Not only did it earn substantial profits, grossing nearly $1 million by the end of the year, but it also stood out as the most lucrative production in Walter Wanger's portfolio at the time. This financial success underscored the film's widespread appeal and solidified its position as a commercial triumph. One noteworthy aspect of the film lies in John Ford's directorial recognition. Although Ford was an influential figure in cinema, it's intriguing to note that Stage a Coach represents the only instance where he received a Best Director Oscar nomination and did not secure the award. This unique facet adds a layer of distinction to the film, highlighting its impact on the industry and Ford's esteemed career. Delving into the production details, the decision to incorporate visible ceilings in the interior sets is a testament to the film's commitment to innovation. This unconventional practice, aimed at creating a claustrophobic atmosphere in contrast to the vastness of Monument Valley, showcases Ford's directorial finesse. The deliberate use of this technique reflects a meticulous approach to storytelling, further contributing to the film's enduring legacy. In summary, the 1939 cinematic gem, a financial triumph, and a notable moment in John Ford's career captivates audiences not just with its narrative but also through its innovative filming techniques. The success of Stage a Coach extends beyond mere accolades, solidifying its status as a pioneering work in the realm of Western cinema. John Wayne's iconic hat in the 1939 Western film was just a costume choice that held personal significance for the actor. This hat, worn in stage a coach and later in numerous Westerns, became a symbol of Wayne's rugged on-screen persona. Interestingly, it wasn't a prop but his own well-worn hat, retired only after the film Rio Bravo in 1959. 
Wayne, known for his authenticity, made this hat a trademark of his cowboy image, showcasing the real life wear and tear from years of cinematic adventures. This simple accessory became a lasting element of Wayne's western legacy adding a touch of realism to his portrayal of iconic characters in the genre. A hat with its own story exemplifies how even seemingly minor details can contribute to the enduring impact of a classic film. Pictured on a 25 US postage stamp in 1990, Stagecoach holds a distinguished place among classic films of its era. This recognition speaks to the enduring impact of the movie, cementing its status alongside cinematic masterpieces like The Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind. What might surprise many is that the iconic line often attributed to John Wayne, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta dados to originate from this film. Instead, Wayne's character, the Ringo Kid, delivers a powerful line reflecting on duty and justice. When questioned about his choice to stay and avenge his family's murders rather than seeking refuge in Mexico, he simply states, there are some things a man just can't run away from. Beyond its memorable quotes, Stagecoach also played a pivotal role in the economic upliftment of local Navajo Indians. In a unique and commendable move, the film's production provided a significant boost to the impoverished local population. Hundreds found employment as extras and handymen, marking an impactful contribution to the community. This dual legacy cinematic and socio-economic further enriches the film's narrative, showcasing the far-reaching influence of this classic western. In retrospect, as we peel back the layers of stage coach, it becomes evident that its significance goes beyond the silver screen. The 1990 commemorative stamp, featuring the film, not only recognizes its place in the cinematic landscape of 1939, but also solidifies its timeless relevance. From the impactful portrayal of the Ringo Kid to the economic empowerment of local communities, Stagecoach stands as a testament to the nuanced interplay of cinema and society. John Ford's 1939 Western film, a pivotal moment in John Wayne's career, marked a turning point in their professional relationship. Despite Ford's initial reluctance to cast Wayne in his 1930s films, Stagecoach became the platform that catapulted Wayne to stardom. The iconic scene where Ringo stops the Stagecoach, twirling his Winchester rifle, symbolizes Ford's deliberate effort to showcase Wayne as a formidable presence on the big screen. This strategic move not only solidified Wayne's position as a leading actor, but also contributed to the film's enduring legacy in the Western genre. The collaboration between Ford and Wayne and Stagecoach set the stage for their later work in the 1962 Western The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, further cementing their place in cinematic history. The film's impact on Wayne's career and the dynamic between these two Hollywood legends underscores the lasting significance of Stagecoach in shaping the trajectory of American cinema. As our cinematic journey nears its final curtain, I implore you to take a moment and reflect on the timeless magic woven into the very fabric of that 1939 masterpiece. In the vast tapestry of silver screen history, Stagecoach stands as a beacon, casting its cinematic glow across generations. As the credits roll and the echoes of that distant western horizon linger, I invite you to unlock the vault of your own memories. Let your mind wander through the dusty trails of your personal connection with this iconic tale. Whether it's the rugged landscapes that whispered secrets to you or the characters who felt like old companions, Stagecoach has undoubtedly etched its mark on the canvas of your cinematic soul. What scenes stirred your emotions? Which characters found a cozy nook in your heart? Share the mosaic of your reflections with us. Let your words dance like tumbleweeds in the wind, painting a vivid portrait of your experience with this cinematic gem. The beauty lies not only in the tale itself, but in the diverse tapestry of perspectives woven by those who have embarked on this journey before you. Your voice is a vital chord in the harmonious symphony of collective memories surrounding the cinematic masterpiece. So, don your proverbial cowboy hat of introspection and ride into the sunset of recollection. Thank you for entrusting us with your time and sharing the cinematic trail with us. Until our paths cross again, keep those memories alive and the spirit of Stagecoach riding high within you. Your tales are the unseen sequels, written not by Hollywood, but by the indomitable spirit of your own cinematic adventure.